50,000. It seems like just a number to you, but this number is the amount of people tragically laid to rest annually from traumatic brain injuries, or in this case, concussions. Head injuries are something that Coach Chip Sherman knows all too well. Uh, when the brain gets bruised, basically, from, um, from a, a movement within the skull. Disorders like chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, can cause symptoms like depression and memory loss that can affect players to any extent. Took away my whole last senior year of football. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't play homecoming. I couldn't play at our last game of football. Uh, it was extremely depressing. Dementia has showed up in many NFL players' medical histories, the same players who were diagnosed with a concussion in their tenure as an athlete. Depression, um, you know, there's been some suicides that have taken place, uh, and so they are beginning to study the brain and the long-term effects of, of having uh, concussions and, and specifically repeated concussions. If the sport were to begin to have a dangerous reputation, it could even be the end of the sport in itself. This has been Tyler Sotart, ONW Now.